Are they creative thoughts or just a chance of luck? While the answer might be undiscovered or unknown as we never know what may hit the headlines or copy of the ad. Some of the famous unforgettable creative advertising ideas were created with minimum budget and never expected to be so famous. The brilliant advertising ideas are the ones having great visual concept and tremendous art of illusion that engulfs people in its analogy. The best creative advertising ideas are a fascinating mix of entertainment and something to take inspiration from. It is the job best described for art lovers, designers, copywriters. Online advertising supports many internet services such as search, email and social networks. At the same time, there are widespread concerns about the privacy laws associated with user targeting. Yet, very little is publicly known about a good living by creating copyrighted ideas. Now let's have some discussion on online advertising as the topic of discussion contains feedback on net. We have already introduced online advertising while discussing types of advertisement based on medium. So here we need some more basic understanding of online ads that we'll discuss about the feedback. How ad networks operate, especially with regards to how they use user information to target users. This is also true that different classes of online advertising, search, contextual and social networks use user profile information today. Let's discuss about contextual advertising first. Contextual advertising or context match CM refers to placement of commercial textual advertisement within the content of generic web pages that is targeted to the specific individual who is visiting the website. A contextual ad system scans the text of a website for keywords and returns ads to the web page based on what the user is viewing either through ads placed on the page or pop-up ads. For example, if the user is viewing a site about sports and the site uses contextual advertising, the user might see ads for sports related companies such as memorabilia dealers or ticket sellers. Contextual advertising also is used by search engines. Sponsored search consists of placing ads on result pages from the web search engine with ads driven by originating query, display ads on their search results pages based on what words the users has searched for. Previously, online advertising was not very popular amongst the consumers and considered as a disturbance while doing work, but the scenario has changed. The advertisers are getting good response from their customer and getting good feedback from them. Contextual advertising programs such as Google AdSense is a huge success. Google places advertisements in web pages after analyzing the content. This way, a website about trekking will show ads for outdoor gear and a website about dogs shows ads for dog food. This kind of relevant advertising is perceived as far less interrupting and more informative. AdSense advertisements are typically just short text messages, clearly indicated as being advertisements. Google AdSense is clearly a result of micro targets and micro media. Remember that by advertising on websites, we are no longer talking about websites as we know them. These are not the typical online presence of companies, nor are they the e-business websites of which we have seen many rise and fall. These are blogs, individual or commercial and online RSS readers that receive content from many sources. There is maximum possibility to get feedback through online medium. Through their blogs, consumers give their opinion on different products and their ads. Through social networking websites, there is possibility to get feedback. So in this discussion, we learned about the basics of advertising, defining advertising in the simplest way as the most visible element for providing information about a product, service or idea. We discussed various definitions, simplest one, line definition, as well as definition given by American Marketing Association as advertising is a paid form of non-personal presentation of idea, goods or services by an identified sponsor. In this discussion, we talked about benefits of advertising, purpose of advertising, above the line media and below the line media, ATL and BTL, advertising through media, types of advertisements based on various mediums like newspaper advertisement, TV advertisement, radio advertisement, cinema advertisement, outdoor advertisement and online advertisement. The discussion continued towards the creation of copy of an ad, 
For creation of copy of an ad, it is very important to understand the elements of an ad first. The elements of an ad contain headline, subheadline, body copy, visuals, logo, product display, illustration, visualization. We discussed each element of an ad, then the team members of creative objective of copy creation, the process of copy creation. We also discussed about creative ideas and techniques of copy creation and considerations. That is all that we had in this episode for you today. Till the next time, it's a goodbye.